In this video, we'll look at how you can customize Logic Pro and speed up your workflow. First, let's rename the track and see what we can do with it. Right click to open the menu and choose Assign Track Color. Now we can pick any color from the color palette. Now we have assigned color to the track. To apply this color to region, select it and right click on it. Now, color region by tracks. The same way you can rename your regions. There are many other ways to assign colors. Now let's choose another region. Press Option C to open palette and pick a color. Now we can close the window and go to functions. Here you can find different commands. Let's color track by region color. This process can be done automatically every time you create a new track. Let's go to logic preferences to set it up. Go to display settings, tracks, and here you can see color. If you set it to static, Logic Pro will create tracks with the same color. If you go to Auto, Logic Pro will assign new color to each new track. Here you can customize background color as well. Let's close the window and see how it works. Click on the plus button to create new tracks. Change number of tracks to 10. Create. As you can see each track has its own unique color. This will apply to MIDI tracks too. Let's move to track headers. Here you can enable buttons that will be displayed on the track, such as mute, solo and others. If you go to controls, you can enable a volume slider and pan or switch it to sense, which is useful for mixing. Also you can enable name column that will display plugin settings. Other view options provide extra features for your track headers, such as numbers, bars, groove track, track icons and track alternatives. You can go to settings and store it as user defaults, so every time you create a new project, these settings will be recalled. Now let's explore track alternatives. Since this feature is activated in the track header, we can click on the arrows and create a new one. We created a container that houses multi-region playlists. You are now able to save various different versions of an arrangement on a per track basis. This is a really powerful feature that allows you to try out different arrangement ideas without having to save and load different versions of the project. Now let's see how you can organize your tracks. Hold shift and click on the tracks that belong to the same group. You can combine these tracks by creating track stack. Summing stacks are a convenient way to work with multiple instruments and their outputs as a single unit. Next, let's see how we can create song sections for your tracks or even give us small reminders. To do this, press the global tracks button. Here you can find different global tracks such as arrangement and tempo. We're going to focus on markers. Adding a marker is simple. All you have to do is click on the plus button in the marker section and a new marker will be created wherever the playhead is located. You can rename markers by double clicking on them and change colors the same way you do with regions. Now let's look at how we can customize control bar in the main display of Logic Pro. The control bar offers a default set of buttons and other controls providing commonly used options. If you need to access particular functions that aren't part of the default set, you can easily customize it. And don't forget to save it as default, so next time you create a new project, Logic Pro will recall these settings. Now let's look at one of the features that can be activated in your custom control bar. It's called Capture Recording. Let me show you how it works. Choose a software track with an instrument. Press Command K to open virtual keyboard so we can play it. Logic Pro runs an always listening buffer of the notes you are playing. So when you hit the Capture Recording button, it pastes that buffer into your timeline. Logic Pro is full of hidden features that can be adjusted to speed up your workflow. Spend some time to customize your Logic Pro template. It will help you to stay organized and be more efficient.